Okay, today we're going to cover a, uh, starting the burn of an Attack DPXL45 wood gasification boiler. And uh, we're going to start by uh, kind of prepared the fire chamber a little bit by uh, <clears throat> bringing the char uh, unburnt charcoal from the last burn uh, over the nozzle, which is in the, in the center, I can't see it. And on top of that, we put some splitter trash. Uh, and then just a few splits here to get things going. Uh, so I'm going to use a little starter gel. Get things going here. You could use newspaper, whatever kind of fire starter you have that in there and we're going to start the boiler so we get the induction inducer fan going and we do that up here we're going to hit her tight kind of initiates and we're going to hit it again here we go see the inducer fan light is turned on hear the, hear the fan running we're going to light our fire get that going a little bit we're gonna just partially close the door uh, that leaves the uh, bypass open if we fully close it it'll close the bypass and, and try to start doing the gas fine too early and the uh, attack DPX L lambda has a display here and as it heats up there's a bar graph that'll Go all the way over to the right, and once that's all the way over there, it will be up to temperature. We can close the door. Um, so we're gonna do we're doing a batch burn. Um, I really don't have enough in there for a full burn. This is just enough uh, splits to get things going. You can see this is a normal, pretty much a normal uh, wood stove size splits, which is what I have for using wood stoves. They're not quite long enough for this firebox. So we have to go look at our storage temps. So the high, high tank is uh, 72 degrees, the middle is about 66, and the bottom is 62. So it's gonna take uh, about two thirds of load in this firebox to, uh, to bring this up, storage up to temperature. And so you can see we're already got the first bar but we gotta get in. At this point, I may choose to add a few more splits here. Again, pretty much uh, wood stove size splits. I've been using it. This boiler could use something a lot longer. This is what I have. progress on that and that's basically what that is is reading flu temperature um, there's a couple probes in the flu exit here if you look inside this is an oxygen sensor and over here is the I believe is the temperature probe so we're gonna let this warm up a little more and basically it'll be real boring just to, but I'm sure in about less than five minutes here it'll be up to temperature Bar, bar graph will be fully filled out. It kind of dropped on there because I just disturbed things by putting a bunch more wood on it. So, I'm going to stop the video here because it would be pretty boring just sitting here waiting for five minutes. 